Post game, Grinnell versus Pella. Coach Stenberg with me, Tony. This is, uh, in terms of tonight, where would you put tonight with a win in game one and a loss in game two? It's kind of where I thought it would be. You know, I thought two close games was going to happen today. You know, they're, they're on a roll. They won, I think, eight in a row coming in tonight. So um, they've been playing well, play, playing as well as anyone in our conference. So I knew we were going to have to play well in that. To be honest, I don't think we did. Um, you know, we we won the first game. We had some, you know, I give our kids credit for battling back and not giving up. And um, But we did, you know, kick ourselves a little bit there early with some errors and some things that didn't go our way. Um, but, you know, good teams find a way to win. Um, and that's what happened in game one. Game two, you know, kind of reverse. Um, you know, we did hurt ourselves. I, you know, I thought we weren't quite fighting as hard as we did the first game uh, to come back. Um, you know, I think we were kind of deep down content with the split. Um, well, that, that's disappointing, you know, good teams, we need to think we can get a sweep. Um, so I was a little disappointed with that. Obviously the last inning, um, you know, we, we battled and we finally got to their bullpen and we knew if we could, we would have a chance. Um, give the starting pitcher a credit. You know, he did a nice job of keeping us off balance and limiting his pitches. But, um, you know, we had our chances there. You know, one, one bloop single away from tying the game and some unfortunate things happened that last inning. But, you know, I'm proud of our kids that last inning for sure for battling. You go 3-2 and two on the week. This was the hardest week. This is the hardest week on the year. You go 3-2. and two. How would you evaluate the week in general with the doubleheader win against Indianola, lost Norwalk split here? Some message I just told our guys is, like you said, by far the hardest week we're going to have all year long. Um, now, we got to show up and play every other week. You know, I, if you told me we would go 3-2 and two and you know, against the teams we did, you know, I, I feel pretty good about it. Uh, the, now that the games have happened, you know, I think we could have gone 5-0 and oh or 4-1. Mm -hmm. and one. Um, And so that, that, that part is disappointing. But, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. I think the big thing is going to be, you know, we're going to play some teams next week that don't have the records that – teams this week did um and we got to make sure we show up every single night and take care of business because you guys know in the little hawkeye conference it's a battle almost every night and um we got to make sure we take that to heart but you know through through three weeks we put ourselves in a pretty good spot are you glad that this week came at the beginning of the season would you say or would you kind of have wanted it middle toward the end yeah i, I like it now um you know the nice thing is you know you're looking at the rest of the schedule we've gotten our three trips to des moines out of the way mm -hmm. um you know those are those are taxing those are grind mm -hmm. um we got those out of the way and you know playing indianola and dcg both twice each so only playing them those guys one more time um coming out of the, those four games three and one i mean that, that, that's pretty good um you know we'll have some big games coming up obviously but you know less travel and a lot more home games and um you know, against teams that so far haven't gotten off to the start those teams have. And so uh, we got to make sure that we're ready to go, like I said. But, you know, I am, you know, glad that this grind of this week is over with. We appreciate you coming up and talking with us. Good luck next week, and uh, congrats on the win earlier tonight. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.